if you recall last time, well, last week, Tuesday, Friday, what did we spend our time on? I'll give you a bit of a hint. It started with a heck of a lot of these. What do we look at? Okay, very good. We looked at graphing on the complex plane some kind of expression like say, oh, I don't know, what, what was all we looked at? Um, something like this. We might look at that exact example. Actually, I can't even remember. Okay? So there's a set of points, there's a set of z's that satisfy this equation, and you can draw them. Uh, what do these ones look like? What would you draw for this one? What are you going to have at the origin? A hollow circle. There's a hollow circle there. And then there's going to be a start with an R. Do you remember? There's a ray that goes off. Okay, how would you describe it? Yeah, it's going to be in the second quadrant. Okay. Um, and 2 pi on 3 is, what is that in degrees again? 120. Okay, so you've gone from 0 to 90, and then you go a little bit more, and then there's your, uh, there's the locus of points that all satisfy this equation. Okay. Now, you may remember, I think we ended, you might need to help me on this precisely. I think we ended on this question plus pi on 2. Is that the one we did? Do you remember that? Yeah. Are my minus 1 and my plus 1, I'm doing that for memory. Are they in the right spot? Are they swapped? No, they're good. Uh, they're good? Okay, excellent, because my memory is awesome. Now, you remember, <laughs> what I left you with was a bit of a challenge. I said, what if I changed this into this? Do you remember that? Did anyone have a go at it? Anyone? Yeah. yeah? Okay, now, we got, if you recall, when this was pi on 2 and this was a right angle, we got what kind of shape out of that? We got a semicircle, okay? Now, if you haven't done this, why don't you just, um, don't write, the, don't put this under the new heading, put this back on the previous page, maybe with the semicircle. Okay. Let me show you what this thing's gonna look like. Um, you might recall, the, what you, I'm just gonna hijack this um, complex plane up here. You might recall that what I had was a set of points that all kind of did this, right? Do you remember that? And that's what traced out the semicircle, yes? So I was thinking at the angles. Now here, uh, yeah, here, this pi on two, was important because it was the angle formed by those two um, chords, as it were, on the circle. Do you remember that? Yep. Okay, now think about this. If I've changed the pi on 2, which we use like alternate angles and parallel lines to show that it had to be pi on 2 in there, if I change all those angles up there to pi on 4, well, for starters, you're not going to be able to say angle in a semicircle because it's not a right angle anymore. But you're going to have something somewhat similar to this, aren't you? You're going to have a whole bunch of these. It's just that they're going to be pointier. Do you agree? Because pi on 4 is, is half the size. Okay? Now, I can start to trace some of this out. I will show you some of these points. Um, for instance, if we put one here and negative one here, okay? um, we know you'd get this, um, this isosceles triangle here, that one there, if it was pi on 2. If it was pi on 4 and it's pointier, pointier, that means instead of sitting here, by the way, what are, what are the coordinates at that point? What's the complex number? That's, um, that's I, isn't it? Whatever this corresponds to on the imaginary plane, to be pointier, I've got to go higher. Do you agree with that? So it might be, might be something like this. I'm doing it approximately, okay? But I'm going to get pi on 4 there. Yes. Now I'm going to get other pi on 4s as well. I'm going to get some over here too, because if I can have an angle that's smaller than pi on 2, I can actually um, go past here. We're well, just actually not that exaggerated, but you get the idea. Now, just have a look. Just have a look at what I'm tracing out. How would you describe this? What kinds of geometric properties come to mind when you see a diagram like this? Nathan, what are you thinking? Angles in the same segment, standing on the same arc or the same chord. They subtend. What do they subtend again? They subtend equal angles at the circumference. Now, what you have in the first case, this simple example, is an example of that, right? It's just that it happens to be exactly a right angle, um, which means that, by the way, if you had like the opposite side of this shape, right? some of you ask me, oh, why don't we get that angle down the bottom? You need this to be a minus. Okay. If you go this down the bottom, then this is going to be a cyclic quad, a cyclic quad, and the thing you know about the opposite angles of a cyclic quad is that yeah, they add up to 180 degrees. They're supplementary, right? Well, here, you're right down the middle. 90, 90. But here, you've got a small angle on this side, right? So you've got all these pi on fours over here. So you're still tracing out an arc because you still need this shape to be a segment. Do you see that? 
So we could work out, we could do some, um, put some effort in to work out what the equation of this is, but I just want to demonstrate the overall shape. Um, is that circle, is, is it sort of like, um, if you split it into like quarters of just equal size, would it be three quarters because it's part Ooh, of Ooh, that's a great question. It's a really good question. And I'm gonna let you think about that. You can do some geometry here, just like we did before in trying to work out, uh, do you remember we drew that circle? And then I posed you a question of like, oh, what's the, the range of the argument, like how far, and what's the range of the modulus? Do you remember that? Okay. We had to do some triangles. We had to um, construct some things on there to work out how does the geometry here tell us what's going on. There isn't a trivial answer to that question. You have to do some work, but you can work it out. Just to close off, let's just suppose I change this from pi on two to pi on four. Right? What if I change this to like ooh, I don't know something like two pi on three? What would you expect instead of this? Hmm. Well, by now most of you have worked out, okay, well you're going to get another arc of some kind. You've got an arc, you've got an arc. This is still going to be an arc, but tell, tell me about this angle, it's 2 pi and 3. You already told me the size of it, right? It's in degrees 120 degrees, okay. So what kind of arc would it trace out? It's going to trace out a flat one, right? Let's, um, let's get another color here. Here we go. We'll hijack down here. If you drew a low arc like that, right? Do you see it's actually quite easy to see? You draw all of your angles in here. See how that's a, a nice wide angle? That 120 degrees, I just made it up. But you get the idea, right? So it's really important for you to be able to look at this and then start to see what's going on, right? You see what I mean by extension to being that next level skill? Um, you can't just simply sort of algebra this out and then plot some points, okay? You have to think in a much more conceptual way to think about what kind of shape am I gonna get out of it.